play or you could win. Some people just like to play. Right? And it goes in politics. It goes into your social, uh, you know, your church life, your spiritual aspect of yourself, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you get into relationships. Some people just want to play. And that's fine. And they play at the highest level. But they don't win. Right? Because winning's not in the, in the equation for them. Or they don't know how, like, what do you mean win at dancing? Like, what does that mean? Winning doesn't necessarily mean being the best. Winning doesn't mean being the best. It's like you, it's like a, say we're on an elevator. Winning is like the eighth floor in a 20 story building. Now you can go all the way to the roof, but ain't nothing on the roof except air conditioning units and bird shit. But on the eighth floor is where that, the optimal. So it's about winning. It's not about being the best. And people get that so confused. Because sometimes doing the best means that you're not going to be able to win. You got to find your optimal range, not your maximal range. Could I have done like crazy layered 100 deep 80 different styles with 60 different metaphors with 100 different meanings and 80 different connotations and 50 micros leveled under 80 macros and did it for 15 minutes and and did all this extra acrobatic nonsense. Yep, I could have did that. I wouldn't have won. Winning don't take that long. Right? Winning is understanding the context and then executing optimally for the context. That's it. I'm not here to entertain an audience, which some people do. I'm not here to make rappers go, wow, I've already done that. I'm not here to to uh, to show you that I can rap. We already know that. I'm going to show you how to win. I want to leave here with a ring. That's why I enjoy something like EO Dub. Because EO Dub is about winning. It's not about playing. It's about winning. URL is about winning. It's about playing. Because there's no way to win. Right? In the court of opinion, there's no way to win. Right? When, when, when you're in a place where there's distinct winners and losers, ain't no coming back. Ain't no rematches. Ain't no I'll see you next time. Like, nah, man, you're done. It's a duel. Ain't no playing in a duel. So, I get the example of Hakuho. Hakuho is a Yokozuna, and he does sumo wrestling in Japan. He's the most winningest Yokozuna of all time. This man has won 45 tournaments. He's 36 years old. Uh, the next tournament, I think, is in September. If he wins one match in his next tournament, he would have 900 wins. 900, right? And he's, a, he's the Yokozuna. He can never lose that title. The only way he can lose that title is if he chooses to retire. In his last tournament, he was going to retire. Everybody wrote him off. His knees, is this, is that. He came back in 15 old the entire tournament. The dude who's Yokozuna now, this kid, Serono Fuji, who's amazing, b- beat the shit out of him. The people who run sumo, like the people who actually sit on the boards and the executive committees and stuff like that, they hate Hakuho. They hate this man. One, because he's not Japanese. He's Mongolian, but he's a Japanese citizen. He knows everything about sumo, the history, all of the the shrines, the language, 
every like he immersed totally in tied to history. So he can read the history of Sumo to you back and forth. Not only not only that, he he's he understands like all the techniques, everything. And they hate this dude. Because all he cares about is winning. He'll throw all that shit out the window to win. Because one of the things about sumo is that this isn't about playing. We can play, but we can play in practice. We can play in our exhibition matches. But when it's on, when it's on the line for that trophy and that title, I'm Yokozuna. I don't give a fuck what I have to do. I'm not going to kick people in the balls. I'm not going to cheat. But if we, can, if we can slap niggas in the face and elbow you unconscious, then I'm going to forearm you into unconsciousness. I don't care how it looks. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upset you. I'm going to look at you like you ain't shit. Um, it, I'm going to do everything that's allowed to win. And at the end of the day, I'm the most winningest, you know, Yokozuna of all time. And I'm looking at 900 wins in the face in 45 tournaments. You, nobody even comes close to this man. So that, I, that concept of winning, when you're in that context of winning, you win. Simple. Simple. For Mickey, it's different. The way he wins is the way he's going to win in the context in which he is. For another, another rapper, they're going to approach it a different way. Another rapper is going to approach it a different way. At the end of the day, all that matters is, did you win? And we won. Simple as that.